Welcome back to JP's Budget Collecting and our weekly look back at the hot comics from six months ago. This week we're looking back at the hot comics from November 24th, 2023. I'm recording this a little earlier in the week on Tuesday, uh, May 21st, 2024. Uh, so it'll be a few days before you actually see this. So things could change um, between now and when this actually comes out. But with my life and schedule, this just made more sense to record it a little earlier in the week. Um, as always, I give you those dates so you know when this information is actually relevant because the market is always moving and changing as we will see when we look at the price differences between just six months ago. Uh, and as always, we're looking back at the CBSI Hot Top 10 and the Comic Tom Key Collector Hottest Trending Comics of the Week. So each week, we look at these lists to see what books are hot in the market, what books people are chasing, what books are having a jump in sales and price because of some movie announcement or spec or it's just a hot new release. And then we come back six months later to see how they're doing in the market then. Would you have been better off being patient? Uh, should you have jumped on it? And what were the factors that made a book worth being patient for versus factors on a book that maybe you should have went on and got in the moment. So without further ado, we got 17 books to talk about. So let's dig in and see if we can learn anything. Uh, first up, we have Alien Legion, number one, on the list for the third week in a row because it was being adapted. Um, yeah, last week it was like a 5 to $20 book. A 9.8 was sitting at around like 150 By this week, it was up to 15 to $25 book, and a 9.8 hit Three twenty-five. Uh, now it's a two to twelve dollar book. Nine point eight, one seventy-five, and only one sale. Uh, Any time in the last couple of months. Yeah, that's it's down and it's a dumpster fire. This was not one that is held. It's not one that's mounted to anything. Um, like most auction books, if you can get them ten fifteen dollars, you're okay. Once it gets months beyond that, you're really overpaying for any kind of auction book. Um, Next, we have Gears of War, number one. Uh, supposedly, it was back in production. The writing was happening um, after the big delay due to the writer's strike. So this was back functioning. So people were jumping on this book again. $45 average for raw copies. 9.8 going for $133. Now it's a $15 to $35 book raw. Uh, there was a single $60 sale, which is actually our most recent raw sale. Um, 9.8 is $110 to $135. So yeah, we're going to call this down in a trap on the raw side because most of the sales are like in the 20s compared to like 20 to 30 compared to the $45 average back then. There obviously was a $60 sale, but uh, yeah, that seems to be a definite outlier at this point. Um, no recent news on this. May still get made, may still be in process of getting made, but no recent news means the book is backed up significantly. Um, all right, we're going to move into a couple of covers. We have Daredevil Black Armor, number one, the Raphael Grassetti, 125. This 125 was going for 30 to 60. Not a good sign for 125 when it's barely making it to double ratio. Now it's a 20 to $30 book. 9.8 signature series going from 75 to 145. Only 9.8 sales were all signature series, which was, there was like four or five of them, but they were all signature series. Uh, but yeah, this is down and it's a trap. Uh, not going for big value. No reason to have chased this cover at all. Uh, truly lived up to the kind of the 1 in 25 rules on this one. Next, we have Harley Quinn, Black, White, and Redder, number five. The David Nakayama one in 25. This one was going for 50 to 90. So averaging around triple ratio, which is usually what it takes. Uh, plus it's a Harley cover. And yeah, this one's actually held really steady. It's now a 50 to 90 dollar book. 9.8, interestingly enough, 85 to 145. So two 9.8 sales were actually less than your highest raw sale <laughs> on here. Uh, we're gonna still call it steady and worth it because the raws are still going for exactly the same price they were back then. Um, not sure they're a great deal when you can get the 9.8 for basically the same price, though. Uh, all right, next we have X Force number three, the first appearance of Lady Anime. Uh, this was comic buzz because Rob Liefeld was bringing this character he created back to the comics. So there was a bunch of sales, like a 400% increase in sales, but it was still just going for like four bucks, which is basically the minimum you can really buy something on eBay. Um, just about. Uh, now it's a four dollar book, uh, but only two sales in the last multiple months. No one's really interested in this character. That's what I said back then was who cares? Um, nobody does, but it's still, it was steady. It didn't go down in value. It was fine if you bought it, but there was no reason to buy it back then. 
Uh, all right, next, we got a little DC movie stuff. Uh, we got Supergirl, Woman of Tomorrow, number one. Uh, we knew we were getting a Supergirl movie. We've since had casting. I don't think this was when we got casting. I could be wrong on that. Uh, but the rumors were uh, storyline. This was going to be the storyline that was going to be used. Um, back then, it was going for twenty to twenty-five dollars. Uh, now it's a fifteen to thirty-five dollar book. Nine point eight going for one fifteen to one twenty. So yeah, this one we're going to say steady and worth it. Um, sitting right in the same value. A little wider range on the raw, but definitely right in the same value. Uh, next, we have Gotham City Sirens number one. Uh, first team up. Rumors that. Uh, James Gunn was wanting to do a Sirens movie at some point. Uh, that was what caused us to hit the list. Uh, raw copies were going for 30 bucks, 9.8 going for 100. Um, now it's a 20 to 40 dollar book, 9.8, 80 to 140. Uh, so this one ended up being steady and worth it. I predicted worth it because this was basically the price this book has been forever. Um, and so, yeah, it was lots of sales back then, but it was still going for basically the same price. Um, and it's still going for that price now. So, yeah. Uh, so you were fine buying in on this at this value. This is kind of where this book sits. We'll see if it ever jumps. Kind of doubt it. Jumps too much, at least. All right. Next, we have two uh, carryovers from last week. Uh, Sony Spider related movie or books. We got Marvel Superhero Secret Wars number seven. First appearance of Julia Carpenter. Uh, this is obviously the Madam Web trailer. Um, Sydney Sweeney. Yeah, this is why this was hitting the list. Raw copies were up to 30. So last week it was a 20 $25 book. Now it's 30 plus for a raw copy. 9.8 up to two, 225 to 215. Uh, now it's a 10 to $25 book. 9.8, 150 to 200, which is really the long-term value on this book is where it's went back to. Uh, so down in a trap from the movie hype, from the trailer, uh, even though trailer was bad and the movie, I think, was worse. <laughs> so no, no real surprise there that this is returned to back to what it was. Uh, next, we have Amazing Spider-Man 210, first appearance of Madame Web. Also on the week list for the second week in a row. Raw copies were still basically that 75 to 150 like last week. Uh, but this, at this point, 9.8 had jumped up. Or they were going for around 1,000, just up slightly from what they were previously. Uh, now it's a 20 to $100 book raw, 9.8, 800 to 850. So down in, I'll be back here. Hasn't started, hasn't taken major steps back, which is a little surprising to me. Um, but we will see how well this holds up long term. Uh, definitely a book that has value. And so we'll just see how much it collapses post-movie as we continue to move forward. All right, the rest of these are all MCU spec kind of stuff. Uh, some of them based on something, some of them not. Uh, we're going to start with Uncanny X-Men number 155. Uh, this was just pure spec of a potential villain for, like, the X-Men. Uh, this is the first appearance of the Brood. Um, so, yeah, this is a book that an X-Men book be expected on, not because of X-Men 97. <laughs> Obviously, this was six months ago. But yeah, back then, raw copies were going for 15. 9.8, 175. Now it's a 10 to $30 book. 9.8, 135 to 160. So we'll call this steady and then I'll be back. It'd be interesting to see if they ever handle the brood in X-Men 97. Um, that would might get this book to go, to jump up and go for big money at some point. <laughs> um, Next, we have Century number one, uh, the first appearance of Century. There's rumors that we had casting since then most of those have been debunked or that person walked away or I forget exactly what the deal was, but that was what caused us to hit the list. Uh, raw copies were going for 100 to 130 back then, 9.83 to 350. Now it's a 30 to $100 book, 9.8, 230 to 330. So down and I'll be back, definitely taking a step back. Borderline trap on the raw side. Um, but I do think, like, if you got a really nice one, it would still go for 100 plus. Um, hard to get 9.8 kind of raw copies of this uh, because of that black cover. So, uh, next, we have Prelude to the Deadpool Corpse, number three, first appearance of Dogpool. This was the second week in a row on this. Last week, when we talked about it, it was a $10 book hitting the list for the first time. By this point, it was a $40 book. Um, now it's a $10 to $30 book, uh, averaging around 20 so that makes it a trap. Uh, 9.8, only one recent sale was 300 still. Um, but yeah, definitely a trap from that $40 value. Uh, even with him appearing in the trailer, the movie about to come out, um, it's still down from the initial news that we was going to be in the movie. So 
just gives you an idea of where this kind of, how this spec is gone. Um, and just how all the spec gets gone, what the pattern is at this point for Marvel spec and most spec at this point. Uh, next, we have Hercules, Twilight of the God, number one, uh, the first appearance of Juno, female surfer. Uh, back then, rock copies were going for 4 to $30. Based on the rumors, we were getting a female silver surfer. Uh, now, oh, it's a 5 to $15 book, 9.8. One sale went for 25 plus shipping. So yeah, down in and I'll be back on the raw side. Um, borderline, you could argue trap, but a lot of the sales even back then were still in that 10, 15-ish range. Um, so yeah, definitely, uh, even though we do get a female surfer, we now think it's a different one. It's not Juno, it's somebody else. Uh, I don't know. I, all of this confuses me. I'm not sure exactly who these characters are. So uh, <laughs> next we have Hercules, Twilight of the God number four. Juno becomes the Herald of Galactus. Uh, back then, raw copies were going for 40 bucks. Now it's a 15 to $60 book raw. There was a single raw sale up around $100. Um, so, but it definitely seems like an outlier. Overall, the average is probably sitting at 30 to 45 is where most of the sales are sitting. So we're going to call this Steady I'll Be Back um, overall because you can definitely get it for less. Um, more Surfer Spec, uh, Fantastic Four, number 244, first appearance of Frankie Ray. Uh, and this is when she becomes Nova. First appearance of Frankie Ray as Nova, excuse me. She had actually appeared previously. Um, back then, raw copies were going for 40, 9.8 going for 500. Now it's a five to thirty dollar book, as it appears. This is not the version we're getting. Uh, Nine point eight, three fifty to four hundred. So this has become a trap, and it's probably going to continue to back up uh, from here. Would be my guess. So I'd be patient about even waiting a little longer to buy this one if it's the book you, that you want. Uh, last two books, big boy books. Uh, we got Fantastic Four number forty nine, first full appearance of Galactus. Uh, a five point oh back then was going for six hundred. Um, now raw copies are going for two fifty to fifteen hundred, with five point sitting around six to seven hundred. So this one, uh, despite all the news we've gotten since then, all the confirmations we've got Galactus casting, everything else, this one's still setting at least for those particular grades is kind of steady and worth it. Hasn't really jumped significantly on the couple grades I looked at, although it's starting to creep up a little bit. Uh, so definitely not worth it. Obviously long term probably going to be straight cash um, on this one, but it's not taken off quite the way I expected, at least just yet. Um, although it's definitely trending up across most grades, but just not a lot yet. Uh, and our last book is Fantastic Four number 48, First Prince of Silver Surfer, the Galactus cameo. This one has started to trend up significantly. Back then, a 4.0 was going for 500. Now 4.0 is 800 to 1,000. Uh, raw copies here, recent raw sales. 400 to 1300 uh this is straight cash everything seems to be headed up up on this one this one definitely is jumping a little faster than 49 but both of them are starting to creep up with all the news we've gotten all the confirmation we've gotten on fantastic four um just great books and obviously long-term big value books that had come way down both of them from the heights of 2020 and 2021 both of them appear to be creeping back up to where they kind of probably belong so with that, that is this week's list. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching, and we will uh, catch you next time. Later.